Hello, my friends. It's Nancy Bastien. And what I want to do today is make some embellishments. And Nina Rabina uh, showed this on her channel about how she uh, did these butterflies. And so I am wanting to do some of my own. And so that's what I want to do to show you how I did mine. And um, this one... So I stamped out a bunch of butterflies. Now this one um, is stamped on here many, many times because it has more open spaces on it than um, these do, these little ones and this big one. So what I'm going to do is cut a couple of these out and we're going to, I'm going to show you how I color them and I think I'm going to do um, another one of these big ones but I also want to do one of these little ones and this has just been stamped on mixed media paper so what I'm going to use and cut a bunch of this paper off of here. This excess I don't need. What I'm going to use is my, what this one was done with is my Tombow markers. My Tombow watercolor markers. And this one was done with my Inktense pencils. So here I'm going to show you how we did it. How I did these. Um, I'm going to put a piece of paper underneath them. So, if I can find one. So the overflow will go on the paper. Now that's my, my my uh, camera might zoom in and out. It's going to, so I'm going to take it off the auto zoom. After auto focus, I mean. So I'm going to do these with Tombow markers. And you want to pick out two or three colors that won't make mud. And I'm not very good at doing that, so. I want to use this teal color and probably maybe a yellow to go with it. Let's do this one. Let's do this little one like that. So what I'm going to do is just color these in as best I can. You don't have to worry about the because they're going to cut them out so you don't have to worry too much about going out of the lines or anything like that. I got a, a runny nose this morning. Okay. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of this yellow in here. And now I'm going to spray it with some water. And we'll watch the colors merge. And if they're if they've gone too light, we can go back over it. You can you can go back over it with these Tombow markers when they're still wet. So Okay. 
if you want a little more color, which I do. But these are kind of pastel colors, so I should have used my darker ones. And then we can spray it again. This paper is not working for me. I'm going to take it off. My craft mat works better. Okay, so um, let's do this. Let's put this to the side. Let's do this other one. Now this one I want to do um, with my Intense Pencils. And I want to do a fuchsia pink. And pink and orange make mud, don't they? We'll go with yellow, fuchsia and yellow. I'm scared. I'm scared. Well, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to color most of this with the fuchsia. And I'm going to do it pretty dark. I'm just kind of going to go around and make it as even as possible on both sides where I want to put this color. See this butterfly has a lot of open spaces so you can put a, lay a lot of color down on it. need to get my color wheel out and find out. I tend to forget what goes with each other. Okay, now we're going to do yellow. I'm coloring this pretty dark. Oh, I'm so sorry about my nose. Hang on, I'm going to go blow my nose. Okay, I'm back. That was nasty. So, yeah, I'm laying down quite a bit of color. I'm pushing pretty hard. Now, you can do these with all different kinds of... You can do them with oil pastels. Um, they just have a tendency not to want to dry very fast. Very good. Um, like I said, my Tombow markers... Pencils, watercolor pencils. Okay, so I'm going to spray it with water and let's hope for the best. I'm just going to let them run together and let them merge. I got a paper towel here. I'm going to mop up the
spillage, the pools. Okay, I like that. So I'm going to dry these now and then I'll be right back. Okay, this little one doesn't have quite enough color on it. So I'm going to redo it with um, some darker. I got darker colors in the um, Tombow markers. So I'm going to redo this one. I just want it to be more vibrant. Now that says it was yellow, but this looks orange to me. says it's yellow up here on the top and the thing says it's yellow but it turns orange when you put it on the paper hmm all right let's spray this and see what we get all right that's better I'm going to dry that up. It's pooling, so I'm going to take care of the pools because it just takes that much longer for it to dry. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, now what I'm going to do is put my markers back and get those out of my way for a moment and my pencils. And I'm going to take this fabric um, gel roller for fabric because it is permanent. And this is what Gina Aaron's uh, said to get when the food ball uh, discontinued so I'm going to take this and I'm going to do the bodies I'm just going to color in the body I got quiet huh Now my food bowl doesn't want to work. Hmm. It doesn't want to work. I might have ruined it. My goodness. Well, let's see what else I have. I have this one and it says it's water faded waterproof water fade proof so we'll use this one now this is a food ball it's a 1.5 I'm just going to color in the bodies
Now I'm going to take some, I'm going to move these out of the way, of my um, Posca pens. And I have a white one, and a black one, and a pink one, and a blue one, and an orange one. And I think for this one I'm going to do um, pink. I'm going to splatter my butterflies. Get the uh, paint going in these. Come on, paint. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to splatter. Sometimes it goes where you don't want it to, but I did pink, and I think I'm going to do some yellow. I can't see that coming out yet. Oh, there we go. It's going everywhere but on my butterfly. Okay, good enough. I'm going to do some white. See, it went everywhere but my where I wanted it to go. You want to get your paint going real good. I find out you have to tap it pretty hard. I guess I could put that over there. I guess if you don't have Posca pens, you could do this with paint, acrylic paint, watered down, and just splatter it on. Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit of black. I wonder if it will work better just on my finger. No. Got to hit it pretty hard. That went everywhere but where I wanted it. Okay, good enough.
Yeah, I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to do this other one the same way, except for I'm going to do blues. I'm going to do a blue. And some orange. I got pretty colors all around it. And some white. And now some black. Okay, good enough. All right, I'm going to dry these up. And then I'll be right back. I'm going to clean up my paint mess here a little bit. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so what I'm doing now is just fussy cutting them out. I got that one cut out. And so I am going to cut this one out. And I have these little scissors. Uh, I used to do what's called Schirrenschnitz. It's a German uh, art and where you cut out patterns out of paper and these were the scissors that you used for that and they're quite nice about fussy cutting because they're short and pointed and very, very sharp. Someday I'll have to show you. I think most of what I did is over at my mother-in-law's. It's in her Christmas stuff because it was a Christmas scene that I cut out. And we always used to put it in the window at Christmas time. It, it takes a long time to do them. By the time you trace the pattern out on your paper and then you start cutting it out, your fingers get awful tired. At least mine did. My poor little fingers are not as young as they used to be. And they have arthritis in them. I got quiet. I'm going to go and finish cutting that this out and I'll be right back. You don't need to sit here and watch me do this. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go around the edges and with 
some black uh, VersaFine and just go around the edges and blacken them so they look pretty finished. Now you're going to have to be careful with these because um, they are water uh, colors and they will smear um, so you're going to have to be really careful when you use them on any type of uh, element or anything, gluing them down and stuff. You can probably put uh, spray some fixative on them. And that just kind of finishes off a little bit. See that? I try to find all different kinds of stamps of I uh, know I have a jillion and one stamps of butterflies, but do you think I could find them yesterday to do this project? No. Now I cut their little uh, feeler things off. because I didn't want to mess with that. So you can either do this two ways. You can um, use a piece of wire like I did on these. Or I'm going to turn the autofocus on like I did on those. Or you can draw them on. But see, when I use this kind of paper and you wet it and dry it, it kind of gets a bend to it. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some uh, lusters, metallic lusters on the back of these and my metallic clusters are pretty much dried up. I'll spray them with a little bit of water and maybe use a sponge. Just to finish the back of them off so they're not totally white. And then I'm going to show you how to do the wire. For that, you'll need a, some wire cutters. Now, that's taking too long with that. I'm going to use my finger. And you'll need a glue gun. Hot glue. If you don't have hot glue, you can just use regular uh, tacky glue, but the wire will stay on better, I think, with uh, hot glue. But I know a lot of you uh, new ones don't have that. And I want to thank all of my new subbies. Thank you so much. Now, this one I'm going to use. Uh, turquoise on the back of it, metallic turquoise, and it's dried up too. It's not as dried up as I thought it was. See that just kind of finishes the back off. Okay, I'm going to put these away. And I'll show you how to do the wire. So I have some wire cutters and I have some round nose <sighs> pliers. So I have a piece of wire here that's going to do both of my uh, butterflies. I'm going to bring you in a little closer. I should have probably had you in closer to begin with. But this is too much so I'm going to cut it 
and I cut it two pieces. Just snip it there. And then I'm going to fold it in half like so and just pinch it kind of so I have that. And then I'm going to pull these apart a little bit. And then I'm going to curl them with my pliers, my, my round nose pliers. I'm going to curl the ends around. Like that. And then this is where your hot glue gun comes in. And I'm going to see. These might be a little bit too long. I'm going to trim them, trim them off a little bit for this little butterfly. Try to get them even. And then curl the ends again. It's just kind of fussy. But if you're going to put them on a page, you can just draw these on. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna see how that is on that side. That looks good. And I get my glue gun and just put a flop a thing on there. And just let it sit there for a minute. And I'm going to do the same with the other one. And we'll fold it in half. Try to get them even. And just squeeze it at the bottom. And then curl the ends. And do that. I'm a little melancholy today because we got some not so good news on Wes, but he's not ready for me to tell everybody what it is. So I need to respect his wishes on that. So anyway, uh, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there. Put my wire on there. And that should be good. Put a little more glue on it just for keepsake. And there you have it. There you have your little embellished butterflies. And I stuck that down on that hot glue. Oh, that's okay. So there we have our little butterflies. Take this off of my mat here. 
you know, we can probably push that down so it's not, maybe not that one. We gave that one dimension. You can curl them. But anyway, I think they came out really cute. Thanks, Nina, for showing us these. And there you go. I think they're very nice. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And um, comment. Leave me comments. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.